today I'm going to be showing you another fire start trick. Um, you will need a few things, some latex gloves, some petroleum jelly, generic to be any brand that you choose. I prefer the cheaper. It's easier for me. Some cotton balls. Again, I'll be utilizing a lighter, regular matches, and a magnesium rod. This time, I will be using some magnesium, which I already scraped up to save time. It is a pain in the butt. You need about a dime size and about three mils high to get a really good effect. So, cotton balls, everybody can get their hands on any of these at any time. Petroleum gel. And what we're going to be doing is coating the cotton with the petroleum jelly. And what this does is allows this little piece of cotton to burn for a very long period of time. Now I'm going to demonstrate three times because i got to do all three methods. So, take some petroleum jelly, place it in your glove, take your cotton balls, start rolling it around. Now normally you would want to uh, allow this stuff to dry, but for the sake of time and uh, viewing, I'm going to just try it without. The concept is to soak the cotton balls with the uh, petroleum jelly to allow it to have a fuel to burn and to burn slow. Um, this will allow you more time to uh, prepare to get your fire started. Uh, the next video I'm going to be shooting after this is also another fire starter, but this is for more like uh, bonfire type stuff or big backpack trips. Not really for like a bug out situation because it does weigh down a little bit. And uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about that. Don't throw these away. Top part, yeah, go ahead, but keep the bottom. The little cups make perfect vessels for broken down matches, tips, some jute, and some Elmer's glue, uh, and you'll see in the next video. But look forward to that. That's going to be fun. Alright, so, put my lid on, remove the gloves because they are coated, and voila. You have three petroleum jelly coated this time. I'm going to start with the lighter, see how it works. Boom! Burning really slow. Now you can get to all your small stuff again, stack your fire any which way you want. There's many ways. I don't recommend this one inside the home, because I don't know if you can tell. It does produce a black smoke. Not really good for breathing in. Okay. It's not wind resistant when it's wet, obviously. But when it's dry, it's pretty wind resistant. Next on the chopping block, the match. With your match ends, you can shave some of this off, place it on top of the cotton ball, and it'll burn. It'll assist with the flame. You don't want to take it all off, obviously, because you won't really have a stick. Here we go. two so far. The next one I'm worried about, really am. Magnesium is a very fast burning. And snap it. Okay. Safety. So here I'm going to fold my paper and I'm going to coat this with the magnesium. Now, I'm hoping this one works. Really hoping. Uh -huh. That is funny. 
That was the fastest one yet. I wasn't even expecting it to work. So there you have it. Simple trick to keep the fire burning. But again, please, do, please don't use this in the home because it does produce a very black smoke. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, hit the notification button, and I'll see you again on the next video. Thank you.